everyone so in this video I'm going to give you a small review about these one two three four five lip glosses from H&M so you can't find them where all the other H&M makeup is so this is from the checkout counter and um, well first of all I really like buying small smaller you know um, smaller sizes of products basically I don't like being buying like big lip glosses because you know I don't use all of them up anyway so it's kind of a waste of product for me so H&M lip glosses they all smell the same this really sweet like caramel scents they're all very sticky but they're all also quite nice so I'm definitely gonna go go buy these they're very good so what it's a set I think it was like five euros five yeah 490 if I remember correctly it might it might be different in your country so what you get is first a light pink then you get um, peach so this is peach then you get uh, purple one you get hot pink and then the last one you get is dark red so they all look very nice I'm going to swatch all of them and I'm also going to show you what they look on so you would actually see what they are and a really nice feature of them which you might not like is that they are very 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 sticky but I'm going to show you why stickiness is good in just just a minute yeah so I'm going to start with this one this is the light pink, pink one so it's very very shiny very light and if you put it on your arm it's pretty much yeah it's pretty much non-existent so but at the same time, this is really nice because it makes your lips. I'm going to put this one on so you can already see it. And then later I'll just put the other ones on. It makes your lips look like they have been dipped in water. So if you want to go to this with this uh, 90s feel of extreme, um, extreme lip glossiness, then this is a really good, like a really, really, really good lips lip gloss to go with because it just it makes you look like your lips have been just dipped in water dipped in caramel it smells nice i don't think there's a taste actually but it has this really nice it makes your lips nice and plump and um it just gives you lots more just like mm, like beautiful it makes your lips look so big and nice it's very sticky it has almost no color, as you can see on my arm here. This is my hand, not my arm. But on the lips, and what the stickiness does great is that you can take whichever, and I mean whichever, you can go with dark black if you want, uh, eyeshadow or highlighter, what you have, take it on your finger, and because of the stickiness, you can make every eyeshadow into the eyeshadow cut eyeshadow colored lip gloss yes and you might think oh no it's gonna come off anyway like right after i touch something or kiss something but you know what all lipsticks unless they are long wearing or leave a tint or matte and dry your lips out all, all lipsticks are going to leave your lips after you touch anything anyway so you might as well use this kind of technique of a very 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 sticky lip gloss and any and every color color um of eyeshadow i wanted to say eyeshadow of any color of eyeshadow to make a lip color the exact color that you actually want so i'm going to take this off because this is not this one anymore but you did see how it looked and it looked really nice and then i'm going to swatch all of the other ones as well but this one like a light color that's very sticky and makes your lips look gorgeous put something on it it looks even better well already this one on its own looks gorgeous then it looks also gorgeous in another color okay i'll be right back <laughs> so i took it off and i mattified my lips a bit with this um, really well used compact powder from this. I like it, that's my powder. It's very cheap, it was 340 and that's why I use it, but you know what? 
cheap things usually work very well. So the next color is peach in this collection, or well, mini sets is more correct to say. It has a light, a little bit more color than, you know, a little bit. So this is the peach, peach is number two here. Uh, a little bit more color than the light pink one, but not a lot. But on the lips, it also gives this uh, really nice, bigger lips effect. Again, it looks like something you would have worn in the 90s. So, you know, when they had all the Lancome ones that made your lips huge and that at the same time sticky, sticky, sticky. Yeah, this is going to make your lips sticky, sticky, sticky. So if you're wearing your hair open and they come near your lips, your hair is going to stick on your lips. But it makes your lips look so pretty, actually. See? really nice I really like I really like these two are some of my favorites with the darker tones in this collection and I really like them I'm taking this one off and I will be right back again to show you the next one okay so the next one here is the purple one this is my least favorite in this whole little lip set because it has it pretty much has no color it does when you swatch it, it does have this nice purple purple color and the, it does have really nice like um, bluish um, sparkly bits in it but it just does not show on your lips very well so if you want to use the lip gloss eyeshadow combo this looks a, as a great base for purple eyeshadows to put upon so as you can see now that I'm putting it on it does have a little bit of color but it just does not have enough to um to to say that it's a purple gl uh, lip gloss i would want something more it has the same structure as the two other ones and if you compare it with the two last ones yes it is um this has white sparkle this has a um, peach sparkle this has purple sparkle but it just does not come or you just don't see it on your lips as much so that's nice it does give you a really nice really light sheen of purplish bluish but not my favorite i think it would need a little bit more color but if you do compare it as a on a hand swatch or on your lips it does show off i would just want a little bit more and as with the same two previous ones, it is same stickiness, same consistency, same smell, no taste. Or, well, maybe a slight, really sweet taste, but I'm going to say with no taste. So taking this one off, and I'll be back again with the two remaining ones. Okay, so the next one I have is Hot Pink from the same one. Now this one is really nice. If you want doll lips, if you pretty much want Barbie doll lips, then this is the one to go to. It gives you a really, really dark color. It's this one. As you can see, it automatically has more color than the previous ones, and it looks gorgeous. The only thing with the past, well, the last, not the past, the last two ones, see, Barbie doll pink. The last two ones, is that to really get a color payoff you have to put on like quite a few coats but the more, more coats you do put on the better it gets all the time so it really is quite gorgeous so these two last ones i actually really like and yes it is it's bobby doll pink it's bright hot pink and it looks really it looks really nice and just as the color name says, it's hot pink. So this is one layer. If you put on another one, it gets in darker. So that's what I'm... If you really want the same color that it is in the bottle, you have to put on like... This is two right now. Two or three coats. And really just work it in. And uh, all of them have this little nice applicator. I really do love the applicator. So... Going in with three and see the third coat is the one that gives you the same appearance as you have when it's in the bottle container. Bottle container. A container not made of actual glass and it's a small container. 
bottle bottle see now when you have put on three coats then you have the um, Barbie doll pink that is in the little bottle I'm gonna go with bottle I don't know if it's correct again for this it really is a really nice color so if you want Barbie doll pink this is the one to go with I don't know if they sell it separately but Barbie doll pink looks it looks really good and yes you know take my hand it's all gone and it's a little bit less but you know this is with all lip glosses and most lipsticks so don't be sad about that I'm going to take this one off and go for the last one but if you want a really really hot pink Barbie doll pink you do have to put on multiple coats each time you do anything so going to take this one off and I will be right back with the last one okay and now I have the last one this is called dark red and it really is this dark wine red and it really does leave a really nice lasting stain and this is one of my favorites along with um yeah along with the two first ones this looks gorgeous but once you start putting it on it does lose some of its really dark color on your lips so it again as with the barbie doll pink one or a hot pink one or the name they give it themselves it needs multiple coats to really show up so that's a bit sad but hey it's a lip gloss you can't expect the same amount of coverage from a lip gloss than you can expect from a lipstick and even some lipsticks are really sheer and they show up so this isn't, isn't something I'm mad about I still love the color and well this is good number two at the moment so we're getting there one more coat so three coats is the magic number and the thicker you put it on the more it shows off so it is pretty I'm not doing going to say it, it isn't pretty it's so very pretty that it's it's worth it definitely so Free is currently on and I still haven't gotten to this exact shade as you can see so it needs even more coats but is this little set of one two three four five worth buying definitely because uh, this one for me personally I did not like this one I wanted more but Barbie doll pink dark red and both of these ones gorgeous so worth a buy so I hope you liked the review. This is my first review ever. And these are the little swatches on my hand. And you know what? Thank you for watching it. I have used these quite a lot in my videos and uh, on my pictures in, on Instagram. So you can see it's quite a lot. And yes, I'm very happy I bought it. And I like it that they're small because probably I'm going to be able to use these up. The bigger ones, I'm never able to use those up. So, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for coming. And bye. <laughs>